Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Galactic Bacon and my video today is going to be about Elite Dangerous Source and Return Missions for Beginners. Um, now, Source and Return Missions are a type of trade mission and these missions will have a positive effect on your trade rank and they're also uh, a very easy one for beginners to get into as well. Um, so today today I'm back at Moss and Dock in my starter system and I'm flying in the Sidewinder. I still haven't upgraded my ship yet uh, because I've started with a fresh account. Um, and uh, we're going to pick up a mission today and I will show you how to source uh, the cargo. Um, now, uh, before we dive in, just to let you know that this video is part of an Elite Dangerous uh, for Beginners series. If you want to find the other videos in the series, you'll find them in the description below or at the end of this video. Uh, okay, uh, let's get started. Um, so, I have my game open in front of me and I am going into Starport Services to begin with to pick up my mission. I'm going to the mission board and I have quite a number of source and return missions here. Now, if you have watched other videos I've done, I talk about the cargo limitations of the Sidewinder, which we have to um, uh, take notice of for doing these type of missions. If you have a look at my inventory, I have a cargo capacity of four. So we need to take that into consideration when we pick up these missions. So I can't take any more than four units at a time. So some of these are going to be out for me unless I want to do this in several stages. But to make it easy for this video, uh, let's choose... Let's see... Fruit and vegetables. Only need three units of that. Uh, don't see any other ones. Okay, we'll go for fruit and vegetables. Uh, it doesn't pay the most, but it looks like a relatively simple one to do. I'm going to accept that. Ah, mission has expired. Okay, we'll go back and go back into the mission board and we'll have a new set of missions. See what is there. Yeah, we've got one for fruit and vegetables has reappeared. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the commodities market. I'm going to show you how to source these materials from the built-in tools in Elite Dangerous. But there is an alternative way of doing this. And uh, there are third-party tools out there that you can use. One of the best is a tool called EDDB. Uh, I'll just show you that on the screen just now. Uh, there you go. And the web address for this is eddb.io. I'm not going to explain how the tool works just now. But if you want to go and check it out, uh, it's a great way of finding uh, certain items that you want to source in the game. It's a must-have tool for traders in Elite Dangerous, but you can uh, do some uh, at least short to medium distance trading using the built-in tools uh, in the game, and I'll show you that just now. Okay. So we have the commodity market in front of us. Um, now, the items we are looking for is fruit and vegetables. And I'm looking at the buyer's market at the moment. If I don't see the items I'm looking for under the buyer's market, we can look for them under selling because all I'm looking for is some data. Um, we're obviously not buying them here. Um, let's look under sell. And there we have our required items are actually highlighted uh, here for us. And if we look over to the right hand side, 
you will see it tells us where these are consumed and also where they are produced. So there is a neighbouring system called Matet. It is only seven light years away. Um, tell you what, we've we've flown there already in this beginner series. So let's, let's choose a different location. HR eight oh six one produces fruit and vegetables. So we could we could go there. Ingredients required for this. Okay. If I have a look at the system in the commodity map. Right, we'll keep this simple because the, the tool is actually telling us to go to my tech. Um I'm going to go to the system map and there we have Coelho station and I'm going to select that and set a plot for that station. Okay. Right, um, we're going to launch um, now, I'm just going to check that I have auto launch off and auto dock off. For those that perhaps haven't seen my previous video on docking, uh, last video made. Uh, we disabled auto launch and auto docking on this sidewinder. So I'm doing manual maneuvers now. And landing gear off. Right, let's head out of the station. Without getting a speeding fine. Okay, I'm going to increase my speed and boost away until mass locked is off. Okay, now we can look for our destination. And there it is ahead of us, seven light years away. I'm going to engage the frame shift drive. I'm going to pull up. We're going to find our destination station. Uh, increase our speed. And so we are here. Okay. Right, we can request docking now. We've been granted docking permission, so I'm now going to manually dock. Slow down a bit. Okay. 
and we're heading for landing pad four. There is ahead of us. Okay, landing gear to slow down. Slow down further. Going to descend and we're docked. Landing successful. Command system shut down. Welcome to our starboard, Commander. Okay, so we're going into Starport, Starport Services and we're going to try and find those fruit and veg. Okay. And there they are. There. So we need to buy three, so we're going to add three. Let's just buy four and we can sell the other one when we get to destination. We're going to buy those, that will go into our cargo hold. If you want to double check before you leave somewhere that you do indeed have the cargo you're expecting to have, you can check your ship inventory and there's our cargo there. Okay, I'm going to refuel, just in case I forget that. This is a small ship, so I do have to remember to refuel and I don't have a fuel scoop at the moment. Now all we have to do is take our fruit and veg back to the station that we got the mission from. So if we go to navigation, actually if we go to transactions and open the galaxy map uh, for our mission. There we have our destination, Dromi. Uh, let's open the system map. Select our mission station. Select, plot the route. Go back. And launch. Now before we complete this mission, I'm just going to have a check on my trade rank, which is 72% at the moment. So once we've completed it, that should increase uh, by a little bit. Okay, we better launch. Okay. Uh, landing pad off. Okay, mass locked is off. We're going to find our destination. And there's our system. So engage frameshift drive. And we 
pull up. Okay, we're looking for a station. There it is. Increase speed. And we've arrived. Okay, we're going to request docking access. And we're looking for landing pad 43. One thing you can do with these missions is if you have a ship that has a big enough cargo hold, you can stack them together. Um, so as long as you have the space to carry the goods, you can stack them together and then deliver them all at the same time. Uh, okay, one pad 43 is right ahead of us. I'm gonna slow down. And my landing gear. Okay, so we're going into Starport Services to hand in our mission. I will go to the mission board. Uh, so that's our mission. Source and return three units of fruit and vegetables. And what we have to do is we have to deliver the items first. So we deliver three items. And click on that. Then we can complete our mission. We get our reward. Okay. And if we go back. Now we still have one item of fruit and vegetables left. If we want to clear our inventory, we could go and sell that. We go into the commodities market, click on sell, go down, find our item, fruit and vegetables, uh, choose the number of items we want to sell. And because we bought cheap, we're actually making a profit of 566 credits on this item, which is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to sell that. I'm going to refuel in case I forget later. Um, so I'm going to exit that just now. I'm going over to my right hand panel. You'll see the inventory is now empty. And if I check my trade rank, it was 74 I think before so it's now 88 and uh, I'm moving closer to increasing rank um, also if I go back to the mission board just for a second you'll see these other 
source and return missions. Um, if you have a cargo bay big enough, you could pick up all of these and then you could go and find where to source these items, then bring them all back to this station and uh, you would earn um, obviously money on the missions and also any extra items you can pick up, you could sell them at the station as well. Uh, it's a great way to increase your trade rank and also to earn money as well. So that's really all there is to source and return missions. They're a fairly simple type of mission to do. Great for beginners in Elite Dangerous, a great way of increasing your credits so you can then upgrade your ships and do a lot more in this game. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you would like to be notified about future videos, please subscribe, click the bell icon below and check out the description below for some of my other videos and feel free to leave any questions in the comments if there's anything you want to ask about source and return missions or anything about Elite. Uh, so thanks for watching, uh, fly safe and I'll see you the next time.